Hi, welcome to the AWS Cost Optimization Series. Today we're going to talk about how to save costs on AWS using saving plans. Did you know that you can save up to 72% on your AWS Compute Workloads with saving plans? AWS saving plans are a pricing model that offers discounted prices on regular on-demand instances when you commit to use one or two years. The prices you will pay for usage stays the same through the plan term. You can manage your plans by using recommendations, performance reporting, and budget alerts in AWS Cost Explorer. So let's have a look on the console. To access saving plans interface, we need to type on this search bar, saving plans. After that, we're going to click here on saving plans at the bottom of this bar. OK, so we are going to get saving plans overview. An important thing to remember here is that we get recommendations from the AWS Cost Management Console. And recommendations are based on our past usage. This is important for you to remember because AWS is looking to save some cost for you through these recommendations. But we can also purchase some saving plans here. We have three saving plan types. The first one is Compute Saving Plans, and this applies to EC2 instances, Fargate, and AWS Lambda. The second type is EC2 Instance Saving Plans, and this applies to instances usage within that committed EC2 family and region. And the last one is SageMaker Saving Plans, and this applies to SageMaker service usage regardless of region, instance family, and component. So for this example, you're going to choose Compute Saving Plans. And next, we need to select the term commitment. We can select one year or two years. Let's select one year. And next, we need to choose an hourly commitment. We can start with $1 or less. The minimum value is 0 0.001. And we need to select a payment option as well. We can select all up front partial upfront or no upfront. With all upfront, we will get more discount. Optionally, we can select an start date for our saving plan, but it's not mandatory. At the bottom of this interface, we will see a purchase summary. And then we can add this to the cart. We can click here on Submit Order. And that's it. We need to wait until this saving plan is approved by the AWS. Thanks for watching. I hope you have learned something new today and see you in the next video.